Hey guys. Okay, so this is a two-part tutorial. Basically, um, if you flash a specific ROM to your Virgin Mobile Galaxy S2 and MMS is not working, this is one way you can fix it if like the, um, the MMS zip file fix doesn't work. You could um, change the APN settings. Um, in this first part of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to retrieve your, your MSL code. Um, I'll put links in the description for this video on the uh, forum post that will tell you guys how to get your MSL code. Okay, so um, to get, well, let me start with this. I have all the pages up here already. So um, your APN settings, you're going to enter in this code, pound, pound, 3282, pound. And it's going to bring this up where it says uh, data uh, programming, where you can view or edit. <clears throat> this is why you'll need your MSL code, because you can view it. And um, your a the settings for MMS is going to be in others under MMSC URL, MMSC proxy, um, MMSC proxy port are pretty much what you're going to be messing around with. Um, as you guys can see, I switched over. You guys can barely see that, but I switched it over. Let me increase the brightness. Maybe that will help a little bit. Um, it's not going to focus. That's why I hate this camera. But um, I'll have the um, all, this, all this stuff in the description of the next video when setting up to fix MMS. But, so, okay, this is in view mode. Um, you're going to need your MSL because when you hit edit, it's going to ask for that code. So this is uh, how you're going to kind of do it. Um, one of the first things you're going to need to download from the Play Store is you're going to need to download a terminal emulator because that's how you're going to actually find it. Um, the other thing, and I'll have the link to it, is... Um, Basically, you're going to be flashing in the uh, stock fl 3 toolbox zip. So on this page, this forum page has all the links for that particular one and then for the stock one. So if you're on Virgin Mobile's GB28, um, that's uh, the one you're going to be using to flash back to. So you download both zips. You're going to download, like I said, the fl 3 bin toolbox zip and then you're going to download the GB28. So once you're done uh, downloading those two files and uh, you have terminal emulator, you're going to uh, go into recovery and flash the stock FL03 uh, bin toolbox. And once you flash that toolbox, you're going to go into, you know, reboot your phone. When your phone boots up, you're going to go into terminal emulator and you're going to type in the command get prop all together. So G E T P R O P space R I L dot and then capitalize M S L. And you hit enter and as you can see right there, after typing that in, my um, six-digit code, which is right in, in between the two white long lines you guys see. I know it's blurry. It's kind of good because you guys don't need my, my MSL code. But in that middle part is my, my uh, MSL code. So once you have that, we will move on to the next step, which is um, setting up the APN settings so you could receive and send multimedia messages. Um, okay, so uh, go ahead and check out part two's video. Like I said, I'll have the links uh, for how to get the uh, MSL code. I'll have the uh, form from XDA posted in the description box um, for what you guys would need. And like I said, you would need to download the FL03 uh, bin toolbox zip, and you would also need to download the GB28. Now, the, the GB28 that I downloaded, because there's two of them, there's one that says GB28 and GB27. I didn't use that one. I used just the GB28 BIN toolbox zip. So download those two, 
download terminal emulator and then I'll also put the command in the description box and what to type to get your MSL code. And um, yeah, so we'll move on to step two, changing the APN settings.